So the challenge for treatment is this. Every cell of our body has P53 in it. And that P53 is working every second of every day. So here we're talking about giving drugs to people that activate P53. And so the question must be, well, why is it that we're not going to kill the patients before we kill the tumor? Because we're going to activate the P53 in every cell of their body rather than just in the tumor cells that happen to have normal P53 in them. In all of our normal cells, there are mechanisms in place that keep P53 from being activated. And a lot of those have to do with the way that cells interact with each other and the way they receive signals from their environment that um, cause them to be happy. A tumor is not a happy character. When you look in a field of tumor cells, you often see many of them that are dying. They're in very stressful environments to begin with. And P53 in those tumors, we think, is on the edge of activation. So we think that we can gain a therapeutic index. In other words, a concentration of drug that won't af affect normal cells, but will affect tumor cells because the tumor cells are on the edge of death anyway. That's what we're trying to achieve, and that's one of the great sources of hope that we have.